Good morning, my Ecom learners! Welcome aboard to another video lesson which will help you learn about the research chapter 1. When writing a research paper, you will need to craft an effective introductory chapter, which is the chapter 1. This chapter is critical as it is the first thing that the readers will see and it is therefore important to make a good first impression. Come and join me and let's start learning. Watch this. Today, our discussion will focus on the research chapter 1. In this chapter, you will introduce the issue, topic, concern, or problem you are exploring. Thus, you must be sure that the information you have here is a compelling hook, which means they are so valuable that your readers get interested to read from this first chapter to the last one. It is also where you state your purpose or objectives as you explain significant details about the problem you seek to find solution. Accordingly, you must be knowledgeable of the components or parts of the chapter one labeled as the problem and its background. And here are its parts. At the very beginning of the chapter 1, you will state its contents, which technically are the parts. Look at this example. Now let's define each one by one. In this video lesson, we will center on the first part which is the introduction or background of the study. It is in this part that you tell your readers what is the topic focus of the study or the problem you have identified and aim to find a solution. It is composed of a paragraph or more that may be classified in three compositions which are 1. A general introduction to the topic you will be discussing. 2. Your thesis statement. When we say thesis statement, it is the sentence that mentions the main idea of your study which reflects your judgment based from your observation, personal experience, and readings relevant to your research study. The third one is the aim and importance of your research study. In writing your introduction, start with a couple of sentences that introduce your topic to your reader. You do not have to give too much detailed information. Save that for the body of your paper. Make these sentences as interesting as you can. Through them, you can hook a reader and get them very interested in the line of thinking you are going to develop in your study. Then, state your thesis, which may be done in one or more sentences. The length of your introduction depends on the length and complexity of your study, but generally, it should not exceed one page unless it is a very long study or book. The average length of an introduction is one half to one page. Here is an example of introduction of the research conducted by Teacher Claire. The regular text is the general introduction to the topic. The bold text is the writer's thesis statement. The slanted bold text is the aim and the slanted text is the importance. The title of the research is Assessment of the LDM Implementation through the lens of the SHS students. And that is a simple example of research introduction. For the discussion of the next part of Chapter 1, watch the next video lesson. 
thank you for listening and studying with me, my Econ learners. I'll have you again in the next video lesson. God bless, keep on learning, and always wear a happy heart.